Hello and Hola from Mexico. In October 2002, the BIS founded its representative office for the Americas in Mexico City. 20 years and three chief representatives later, the office has grown beyond recognition. Our 20 staff come from nine countries and three continents. This brings a rich mix of perspectives and backgrounds to our daily work. The BIS Americas office is on the 17th floor of the Torre Chapultepec, near the impressive public park which has the same name, an oasis that is twice as big as Central Park and is at the center of the city. Mexico City is a vibrant city with a lot to do. It has an impressive art scene, world-class museum and restaurants, and a traditional cuisine recognized as an intangible cultural heritage of humanity by UNESCO. Two years ago, we opened a trading floor. This allows the BIS to trade around the clock and offer the full range of BIS banking services also after Basel closes. It has converted us into a truly global financial institution. This is not only appreciated by our clients in the Americas, we also serve customers in Asia, Europe, and Africa. Clients from the Americas are a very important part of our asset management business. The largest clients in this business are in our region. The Americas represents 35% of the total amount of assets managed by the BIS. The bank has also increased its back office reach, offering 24 hours IT support to staff. Thanks to the integration of teams in Mexico City, Asia, and Basel. An important milestone was the foundation of the Consultative Council of the Americas in 2008, formed by the governors of our eight shareholders in the region. The central banks of Argentina, Brazil, Canada, Chile, Colombia, Mexico, Peru, and the United States. Over the years, it has become the central forum for policy discussion in the Americas and hosts some of the most open and frank exchanges at the BIS. But discussions are not limited to the CCA. We also host a range of other meetings on monetary policy operations, financial stability, research, and risk management. Our group on innovation and the digital economy goes beyond the usual discussions and publishes technical blueprints that can be rolled out by interested central banks around the globe. Its report on application programming interface, or API, for example, was downloaded over 2,500 times, with over half of this coming outside of the Americas. Our economists also act as catalysts by organizing research networks, conferences, and seminars that allow researchers and policymakers from the region to get top-notch feedback. Despite a time difference of seven hours to Basel, 13 hours to Hong Kong, and a wide range of hours to our BIS innovation hubs, we work very closely with colleagues in all BIS offices. And after spending over two years working from home, we are enjoying gradually coming back to the office and hybrid work. BIS, 20 years in the Americas.